Hey moms, welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. If you're new here, my name is Liz and this is Simply Homeschool. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you guys so much for clicking on this thumbnail. It means so much to me. Um, so today I'm just gonna be showing you guys what we use for our reward system. So for us, I feel like when there's an incentive, which every mom doesn't feel like this, but that's okay because we're all entitled to how we want to do things and what we think is right or wrong or however it goes. Um, but for me, I feel like, you know, nothing's wrong with showing your child that they're doing well and when they do well, they get something. Now, it's not always um, materialistic stuff. You guys can put any types of things in your prize bins or however you want to do it. You could do coupons. I have a lot of things that I have in store for next year that I've thought about that I want to incorporate in my award system, but I'm just going to get through the next 25 lessons I think we have left and do um, it the same way. So I will show you this way and then next year I will show you how we do it that year. That year, this coming up year. Um, first, I do wanna show you guys what I have here. Um, I'm not sure if you guys checked out my home tour or my, I don't think it's in my organization video. I think it's in my home tour. I showed this folder and I have awards in it. Um, what I did was I just purchased these little award, paper awards from the Dollar Tree. And so this one is for math. And then in this little envelope that I put in there, I also purchased these little punch tickets. So if they do really well, like for, let's say, on their math tests or speed drills, however you guys want to do it. Um, with the math test, anytime she gets 100 on her math test, we punch a hole and we just keep going all the way until here. Once she gets this filled up, she's allowed to pick out a prize or she can have extra time on her um, Nintendo Switch or she has extra time on FaceTime talking to her one of her cousins. Um, so that's how we incorporate these. Now, if she's done good for the quarter, um, you know, or if I notice she's doing really well in math, like on just her seat work, then I will fill out one of these little math accomplishment awards and give this to her. It's always nice to do little things like this. They love stuff like this. Um, so that is the math one. And then moving on, this is my reading. So I just purchased this one from the dollar store as well. I have, let's see, I have this one here. Gotta change it up a little bit, you guys. And then this one here. And then, let's see. I think I pe uh, purchased this little folder. I love it. It like has its own little dividers in here. Um, and then pockets. I think I got it from the dollar store as well. And then I just made myself these little envelopes here out of paper. <laughs> you could use an envelope, but I don't think I had envelopes at the time where they were too big. So I literally just taped it to the outside of the flap so it's all together. And this is the same concept. So it's the Super Reader punch cards and you can use these the same way um, as well as the little certificates. So that is her reading pack there. Um, and then here we haven't used these little stickers. I've been holding on to them when we start learning more about this, um, probably next year or the year after. Um, it's about, you know, money and um, she knows money, but when she gets really, really good at it, you know, like when we start doing the shopping and stuff like that, and she can understand how to give you change and stuff like that, then I'll start doing this. And then when she knows the branches of the government and she learns more about the Liberty Bell and things like that, I know she's already touched on it, but when she knows it a little bit better, I plan on putting those on certificates for her, uh, making my own little certificate. Or you can always see this one here as a certificate of achievement. Once she learns that, I could put the sticker here and then fill this out according to that. Um, or here is a certificate of excellence. And you guys, you can buy these packs from the dollar store. Um, they come in a huge pack. So if you know any other homeschooling moms or you're involved in any other groups for homeschooling, pass them on, split them, pass them on. Spread, spread the love, you guys. Um, here is an honor roll. And then we have happy birthdays. 
These are super cute to fill out for them and have on their desk if you do do school during the day on their birthdays. Or even if it's like the day before, you know, cause you don't wanna celebrate on that day. You could even give it to them as a mom to a kid. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be for school. And then what else? I have in the back here, cause they didn't have specific writing certificates, but I have these little punch cards for writing too. I'm super excited about these. I'll probably be doing more of these next year for third grade because she's been writing and you guys, she's just a little writer. Um, she has it in her heart, you guys. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys this. I'm sorry it took forever, but this is a great idea. It kind of keeps them motivated and trying um, to do their okay, best. So jumping in to, here is our award system. I just have it in this pink little plastic drawer set. Um, the first drawer here is for $3 earned, five and 750 and then 15 and 20. So what I do is each day that she's been really good, she gets a dollar. Um, now, sometimes I'll give her an extra dollar if I feel like she got done with her work appropriately or like an appropriate time. Um, or if she didn't get up a million times or if she didn't, I don't know, if I just felt like she just took more initiative throughout the day and did really good, then she could have that extra dollar. Um, so starting off with the $3, most of this stuff is purchased, you guys, from the dollar store, 99 cent store, day so, stuff like that. Most of it's at a cheaper priced range, okay? If you know me, you know I'm all about budget and trying to save money and um, working with, you know, what I can. So here I have, it's a disaster and this isn't even as bad as it was. Um, but this is basically like I have little brain teasers in here, different putties, like a little growing sea, um, what is this? Uh, um, seahorse, I was like, oh my gosh, you guys, what is this? Jax, my son opened the package. And then we have like this little Crossy Road Mickey figure. We have Mickey crayons. We have, let's see, in here, I'm not gonna show you everything cause it just could take forever. But she could always get the pencil um, holder or makeup holder or whatever you wanna use this for. Um, but I just use it to keep the little things in it too. Little LOL keychain. She has little unicorn rings. Do you guys remember these little like traps for your fingers? Um, a little minions bracelet. Let's see. Little lip glosses for LOL. Just stuff like that. Little stuff like that. And then um, we have these tiny little playing cards, you guys. How cute are those? I have huge ones that belonged to my grandmother when she was alive and they're gigantic. I love them, I still have them. And she used to have little ones like this. So I love these. They just hold a special place in my heart. Um, little Mickey erasers. And then there's this little pencil container that she can always pick. I have just little pens in there. We have a little squishy pen. We have different LOL pens. Um, let's see, we have little, uh-oh. We have little smelly pencils. This one smells like blueberry. I think we have grape. Um, so just different pens and pencils in here. We also have stickers and tattoos and a little Patrick from SpongeBob. Um, and that's basically it for this. this. It's just all like little stuff. So if she wants to buy something with $3, she could buy this. And then for the five and 750, what I've done is, you could see the 750 here. So everything lying down on this side is 750. And then $5 here, everything on this side is $5. So basically for the $5, um, we have this little bookmark kit that she could make. We have these little flying, what are they? Propellers, they're LED, so they light up. Um, a paint by number this little marker coloring kit. Some of these are for my nephew too because he would use this um, prize box as well. And then this little froggy like wipe um, rag. It's like for her, her whiteboard or something like that. Um, and then for her $5, she has these different kit stationaries. I absolutely love these. I thought that she was gonna buy them right away from the store and I've had these forever and I love them. I just love the little bags that they go in or the containers. Um, so that 
is $7.50. And then this little Mold Your Own Unicorn, $7.50. This little Slime Kit, $7.50 little magnetic checkers perfect for car rides or camping she has this little activity for frozen um, this little wood painting kit it's a little wind chime she also has like a sketch pad in here she loves drawing um, and sketching and stuff so well not really sketching she more draws okay so the 15 to 20 so this is 15, it's like a little, uh, I'm not gonna squeeze it or move it around because it's a, like a stuffed animal squishy, but those are the, I think we have this one and this one. So this is the little narwhal. And then these little slimes, this was not purchased from the dollar store though, these little slimes. Uh-oh, here's another one. And then we have this little jewelry kit. So these are all 15. And these actually smell. These were from the 99 cents, 99 cent store. I think I spent like $1.99 or $2.99 on it. Okay, and then in the back here, you're gonna see, don't judge my drawing, okay? But this is supposed to be a Robux. If you guys know anything about Roblox on, you know, iPads and I think they're on all tablets. I don't know, they have to be. Um, but my daughter likes playing Roblox with her cousins, so she can earn Robux money. So if she pays me $20 of her hard-earned money, <laughs> I will give her this little Robux, and then she will give it back to me, and then I will purchase her. I think the money on Robux is like, I think I spend like $2.99 or 99 cents or $4.99. Nothing more than $5 is what I usually spend for the $20 Robux. So she uses this. It's fun. It's a really big treat for her when she gets this because she does have to save it for a while. Um, and that's if she's if she's good every day of the week. That means it would take her a whole month to earn the $20. So for her not to buy anything from our store for 20 or for a month, it's, it's hard for her, you know. So that is definitely a treat. So that is it, you guys. That's how we do our award system. Um, you know, a dollar for each day, an extra dollar for really, really, really good days. And that's our little store. I have so many great thoughts in my mind about next year's store that we're gonna use. Um, so don't forget to check that out when I do have it. Um, it won't be for a while because I'm still getting all of my stuff together for the new year that I'm super excited for. So if you enjoyed this video and you like my content, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, and a like. And if you guys have any comments or questions or give me ideas on what I can put in here, or ideas that I could do for our store, um, comment down below for me. Also, if you guys are not um, following me on Instagram, don't forget to. My Instagram account is simply homeschool18. And yeah, that's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you are all doing well. Be blessed always.